Lesson 32, or week 32. Okay, I'm going to go through the home assignment for this week. We start by Im reviewing the improvisation warm-up one. By now, they should be able to go through it without pausing the CD. And perhaps this week, now they can start to work on improvisation number two. So let's do that together. Here we go. We're still in C position. This warm up is for the left hand. Notice that's Diana's the only difference. Phrase, echo her. Then you will hear the same phrase sung and played. It's the same echo ritual. The phrase, both singing and playing the melody with the left hand. Okay. Do, mi, mi, so, so, mi. 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 Do mi so mi so mi do mi so mi so mi do mi so 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 fa ti fa so so fa ti fa now before i go on t is found do t and the fa is fa so they need to shift so so fa ti so so fa ti fa fa so fa so ti so 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 so do mi so do so do mi so do so do mi so do so do Do mi so mi do mi do Do mi so mi do mi do Do mi so mi do mi do And that's the end. And that's how it should sound by the end of the week. Now if you notice warm up 1 and 2 are exactly the same. Warm up 1 is for the right hand, warm up 2 is for the left hand. So if you've already done those then by all means start working on warm ups 3 and 4 using the practice CD. All right, next down are the C and G scales, hands separately. Remember to play them each three times each, going up and down. And I showed that last week in the tutorial. So if you don't know this fingering, you can go back and watch last week's tutorial. We have a new piece called Billy Billy. We have danced it in class, we've sung it in class, and we have played around with the patterns. Something new is on the CD. I want you to listen on in and hear what's happening. Patterns for Billy Billy. Listen to each pattern and then echo using solfege. So far it sounds the same, but watch what happens. If you need extra time, press pause. The first pattern starts on Do, Do, Fa, 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 Fa. And immediately you hear that there's a new challenge. The name of the pattern is not being given. Bum, 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 and it's up to them to figure out the name before they continue the CD. Do, la, so, la is the name for the pattern, and we worked on that in class. Now listen. Do, la, so, la. So the name now has been given on the pattern. So if they're lazy and they don't want to do it, they, they're going to get it. But eventually they want to be able to name the pattern before they hear the answer. Do, la, so, la. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. And that pattern should be familiar. Me, re, do. We call it our hot cross buns pattern. Me, re, Do. And so that's the switch. Same pattern learning as, be, as last year. They're going to listen to track five. They're going to listen to track six until they're comfortable. And it should sound something like this. Now, they may add the chords. I may not 
have shown this particular pattern. I may have shown this one, and I may have shown this one. It's up to the level of the children's ability to play. Some of the children may just do the melody. Some may do this. And some may do this. up to them to create their own arrangement. They could also put it in the other hand, etc. All right, now we move on and it says let us chase the squirrel. Now they got it last week as a new piece. They've done the hands separately. They're in the key of E major. Have they put the hands together? And have they added staccato and legato? looking at making the piece sound better than last week. So even though they know how to play it, the goal is to get the hands together. Remember, we have a mini musical coming up. All right, we get some new cards, and they are looking like this. They are called the triple rhythm cards. They're not getting the 6-8 time. I just included that. This is what they're in. And they're going to, you notice that they have an in, uneven amount of each card. They have three ones five twos, three threes, three fours, one five, one six, one seven, and three eights. Why? Because they don't need to have more than that for the games that they're doing. They put on the track, they take up the cards, and they simply follow the directions and do, the, do track seven, eight, nine, and ten. They could do one a day, they could repeat them until they're mastered, but they should do them at least once. Once they've done this and they've heard these cards quite a few times, then it's time for them to take out their writing assignment, which is on page 10. And here it is. We have Mystery Rhythms. These are two songs that we sang in class. So they did hear these. They know what they, they could figure out what it is. They're going to take the card, card four, card one, card four, and card three. They're going to copy these cards into the little boxes, each one. Then they're going to have to figure out what song does this rhythm refer to. Do they recognize the rhythm from a familiar song? This is a song we've been singing for quite a while, and they're going to write their answer there. The second one is more challenging. Two, six, four, and three is going to create a song that they only sang that day. Now they've sung it as kids, hopefully. So it's not a piece that they've played on the piano unless they were with me last summer, perhaps. So this is the challenging one. I don't get too many who figure it out, but if you can figure it out, wonderful. Okay, that's it. We'll see you next time.